Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on forming and solving a linear equation from the word problem involving a single occurrence of a variable. Now what we need to do here is to take this kind of information here and turn it into an equation. And just remember equation is where you have something equals something and then we can solve the equation to find the unknown value. Now I'm actually going to start with the second one because I've realised it's actually slightly easier than the first one. So let's do that one first. Bob thinks of a number, he multiplies it by 4 then subtracts 7, he gets 21. What was the original number? Now remember the whole point of algebra is that we use letters, known as variables, to represent unknown values. So what is the unknown value here? He thinks of some number. That number is unknown and we want to try and work out what that original number is. So we can use a letter, let's say x for example, to represent that number. So I'm going to represent that number as x and then I can turn that into equation. So let's think about the information. He multiplies that number by 4. So you've got x and then Bob multiplies that number by 4. Now we could write 4x. Remember when we write 4x, that means 4 lots of x, x times 4, 4 times x, same thing. And then from that result, the 4x, Bob subtracts 7. So Bob subtracts 7, I'm going to write that. So you've got the number, original number x, Bob multiplied it by 4, then subtracted 7, and he gets 21. So that means that result there is equal to, is, 21. So we now have an equation. The reason it's called a linear equation, by the way, is because we've only got like x terms and we've got like numbers known as constants without x in it, but we don't, for example, have x squared, x cubed, or more complicated things like that. So now we just need to solve this equation. Well, x has been multiplied by 4, you're subtracting 7, that was the last thing you did to x, so we therefore undo the last thing. So the opposite of minus 7 is to add 7 to both sides. So if we add 7 on the left hand side of the equation, it gets rid of that minus 7, the 7 and the minus 7 cancel, and we're left with 4x. And on the right hand side, 21, if we add 7, we get 28. And then, well, x has been multiplied by 4, we want to get rid of the multiplied by 4 to leave x on its own. So we do the opposite, which is to divide by 4. So the divide by 4 cancels out the times by 4, so we're just left with x. And 28 divided by 4 is 7. Now, you might have thought that oh, I can just do this in my head, and you probably can. You can work backwards from 21. Well, if you subtracted 7 to get 21, working backwards, you then have 28, because 28 minus 7 is 21. And then if you multiply the number by 4 to get 28, well, 7 times 4 is 28. So you could have worked your way backwards, but that's kind of like missing the point of this question. The point of this question is that it wants you to form and then solve an algebraic equation. And this is the algebraic equation here. Now let's do the first one. Ellie thinks of a number x. So this time you're given that the number is x rather than having to introduce a letter, a variable yourself. She adds 9. So let's start with x. Ellie adds 9. So you add 9 to that number and then multiplies the result by 3. Now you might just think that you can sort of write times by 3, so I could write x plus 9, oh, and then I'm multiplying the result by 3. But you have to be really careful about order of operations, because this doesn't mean what you might think it might mean. You might think that this is x plus 9, and then all of that times 3. But because of order of operations, the multiplication always comes before the addition. So this would actually be doing 9 times 3, and then doing x plus that, which is not what you want. You would have to use brackets, you'd have to do x plus 9, and then that times by 3. So the brackets kind of like disambiguates. But the best way of writing it is just to put a 3 and then a brackets around it. Because in algebra, when you have two things next to each other, so the 3 and the x plus 9 in brackets, it means you're multiplying them together. We try to avoid the time symbol where we can. So this means 3 lots of x plus 9. You've got x plus 9, and then you're multiplying that number by 3. And then you're told the answer is 75. So this is equal to 75. And now we want to solve this equation. Well, we could expand out the brackets first. So we do the 3 times the x, and we do 3 times 9, which is 27. And then we can do 75 minus 27. Uh, I should be able to do that in my head, but I'm being lazy. So 3x is equal to 48. And then to get rid of that times by 3, you divide both sides by 3. So x is 48 divided by 3, which is 16. And that is the original number that Ellie was thinking of.